Welcome to Mushroom Wonderland. All right, and right here we came across a darker purple russula. And so this one, let's pick this bad boy. Oh, look at all the blushing on the stipe here and how dark purple that cap is. So that's a pretty mushroom. And uh, I'm going to give it the sniff test first. That one smells really shrimpy. This one smells a lot like seafood. So we're going to try a spit and nibble of this one. That actually felt like a cooling sensation on my already spicy tongue from that last one. And yeah, totally different, not spicy at all. So this one is a good edible. Note the dark purple cap, the white gills, the blushing stipe, which sometimes it doesn't necessarily do that. So the spit and nibble is a really good test for these russulas. You know, you can always break that stem to make sure it breaks clean and you have that, that russula for starters. But this one is definitely russula zerampolina, the shrimp russula. It's a pretty big one. And I'm not going to take this home today. So I'm going to show you a way that I help distribute the spores. And it's probably going to piss off some of you uh, people that uh, are really worried about the environment. But it's kind of fun and it's a cool thing to do with these russula mushrooms to uh, just double make sure that this is a Russell. I'm gonna flip this can. Look at that big, beautiful fir tree. There's our shrimp Russell. ready? Oh, and it just explodes. So I just sent a trillion spores into the atmosphere, as well as disintegrating that mushroom and leaving chunks of it all over the forest floor. I did a massive service to this forest. You can thank me later.